Hey, this is Martinique checking back in. I actually decided to take a shower um, and use the olive oil treatment that fights breakage. Um, this is what it is, again, in case you didn't watch my last video. I used a quarter size, basically, in my hands um, last time. Well, this time I actually used a dime size in my hair. Um, the reason why I decided to re-shower my hair is because um, I felt that I used too much. Um, I used a quarter size, and then I decided to add in a little bit more and use a dime size as well. Now, considering this is the first time that I used it and my hair is so long, I decided to add extra because I thought that it wouldn't basically cover all of my hair. Um, so I also wanted to add in that a friend of mine, um, she also has a YouTube channel as well. Um, we're very close. Um, her name is Candy Angel. I will spell that for you as well. Capital K-A-N-D-I, capital A-N-G-E-L. Check her channel out. She has very good videos as well. Um, and definitely like her videos and subscribe to her channel. I'm sure you will enjoy her channel. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to let you know that I as well also use the Johnson & Johnson No More Tangles as well in my hair. I sprayed it all over my entire head. Um, and I actually decided to shampoo my hair as well. Um, last time I basically did any type of treatment to my hair is I basically used conditioner, which was April 4th. Today is April 6th on Monday. Um, I used basically the conditioner, sulfate-free conditioner by Herbal Essence Color Me Happy. I took the conditioner with my semi-permanent dye, which is by Splat, um, Purple Desire. I added in a quarter size. I'm sorry, half a dollar size of Purple Desire. Then I added in a dime size of Blue Envy as well by Splat. I mixed it in a bowl with um, the Color Me Happy conditioner. Um, I put um, as much as I wanted to basically for a desired amount, as much as you want to basically dye, uh, dye your hair um, with the semi-permanent dye. Um, as well as the sulfate conditioner is actually better for your hair as well as the shampoo because it actually locks it and keeps the hair color when it's semi-permanent in your hair better as well, as well as preventing dryness to your hair. Um, so that's basically what you should try. Um, I will show you the shampoo in case you're curious what it looks like. It is Herbal Essence Color Me Happy. This is the shampoo version. Um, so anyway, I decided to basically shampoo my hair. This is the second treatment that I'm doing to my hair because I conditioned my hair April 4th and now I decided to shampoo my hair. Now, when you use semi-permanent hair dye, it's best to only shampoo or condition your hair only basically twice a week. Um, I decided to basically shampoo my hair this time since the last time I conditioned my hair. So the hair dye um, did c basically bleed out a little bit, not a lot. I did use the cool water still. It did bleed out a little bit, um, not very much. Um, the hair dye is actually still very, very purple with blue tones in it. Um, it did fade out very slightly, but not a lot, because like I said, I used the sulfate-free um, shampoo as well as the sulfate-free conditioner when I first dyed the hair and touched it up. Um, it is actually good to do that. Um, so I will basically say that, you know, I did use the cool water. I did rinse it out. Um, there was some purple, purplish blue tones in the water, but that is okay. Um, do not worry about basically most of your hair color coming out. Um, so this is the end result of the hair. As you see, it is, I will give a better closer look. It has more of a purpler tone to it. And a little bit of the Lusty Lavender did come out a little bit more. So it did fade out quite nicely. Um, this is what my hair looks like dry because my hair is dry. I want to state that as well in the video. So my hands can actually run through my hair very nicely and very easily with the oil treatment. As well as from the No More Tangles. Now I'm going to also let you know I did cheat again and use the plastic brush um, with the hard uh, with the basically plastic bristles that I showed you in my last video. Um, I did not use the wood brush, the wood bore brush this time because like I said I need a bigger one because it did not pick up the hair all the way fully when, uh, sorry, when I was basically brushing my hair. Um, it did not pick it up all the way. So it's better to basically use a, sorry I dropped the brush, it's best, better basically to use a wider brush so this way for a longer hair it picks it all up like this when you dry it. Um, it's also good that um, to also add in the video that since it's still cool out um, and it's not exactly fully warm yet, I decided to basically dry my hair with the hair dryer. So it's also good to use the olive oil treatment if you dry your hair because it prevents your hair as well from drying out and breaking as well. Um, 
so it helps the sheen as well in it. Um, now, when it's summertime, I tend to let my hair air dry, but still use No More Tangles because this is, again, what No More Tangles looks like because it's actually better to let your hair air dry. Um, now, I like to dry my hair with a hair dryer in the winter because, well, that's what I just kind of like better. Um, I feel more comfortable drying my hair versus letting it air dry. So, if you like this video, feel free to like it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so. Um, like I said, check out my friend's channel, Candy Angel, capital K-A-N-D-I, capital A-N-G-E-L. Um, and check back with you soon. Bye.